Hello, fellows. Here we are at Arethusa Dam. And these chaps are probably going to have a little bit of a drink and a mud wallow. Or a spray of mud. And a little investigation of us to see what we want. Isn't that a wonderful sound? To many people, that sound of the fish eagle is the quintessential sound of Africa. And they're looking at us, and these young bulls, I'm telling you, I think they come up here. They could easily have gone to another part of the dam. I think half of it is curiosity to see what we want. We'll go above them. I just want to give them a little bit of a head start so we don't give them a fright. And there's some bigger ones coming from the other side. So I think we're going to park ourselves here on the Arethusa Dam wall for a little while and see what transpires. I also wonder if that hippo that we saw earlier when we started the drive wasn't... Oh, no, there he is. I thought it was maybe the hippo from here. These chaps are just a little bit nervous for me to park right above them. I'm just going to stop everyone and let them settle. Are you looking at us there? Maybe they'll go around the other side there and settle. And while they do that, Fiampi, if you don't just show them the hippo there and the foul mud there. Oh, Safari Dean, a wonderful question from you and one that has an extremely complicated and lengthy answer if you really get into it. Your question is, do I think that hippos are as intelligent as elephants? Safari Dean, the simple answer to that is just every by with its kind of life. Now, do I think, I mean, and then we have to ask the question, what is intelligence? How do we define it? Is a lion intelligent? Well, a lion is intelligent in so much that it's able to cooperatively hunt with other lions. But at the same time, if you speak to any big cat trainer, they'll tell you a, a lion is a quite imbecilic animal. It's unlike a leopard, for example, which will learn things much more quickly. So which one is intelligent? As far as human intelligence goes, the intelligence to understand, uh, well, I mean, I guess that human intelligence is defined as the ability to have and conceive of abstract thoughts, then I suppose, I imagine, an elephant would be considered more intelligent than a hippo because they do show this propensity to mourn their dead. They seem to have a more complicated language. So from a human point of view, yes, I suppose hippo would be considered less intelligent than elephants. But from a hippo's point of view, they're just as clever as they need to be to survive, and they've done really well. Look how deep that mud is. I'm just gonna keep an eye out behind us, see if those other two don't come through here. I think they probably will. This is wonderful, and they all, of course, they don't really want to sink into the mud before they can have a drink. I don't think they'll do too much drinking here. I think you'll find that they're far, doing far more in the way of spraying mud on themselves and then eating the water hyacinth. You can see there. Oops. Excuse me. <laughs> that was my stomach, everybody, going whoop. Probably at the sight of the elephant eating that delicious, uh, delicious water hyacinth. So here come the other two. I wonder if they're not just a little bit nervous, still assessing the situation. Now these guys are probably all roughly sort of uh, late teens, if you like. They'll be living on their own because they've set up a digs, a bit like sort of young students. Men won't live on their own until they are either in a group or, you know, they won't leave their mother's home cooking unless they can live in a group like this, and it's exactly the same with elephants. They would normally still be with the herd at this age, I imagine. But these chaps are spending a bit of time on their own because they have each other for safety and for company. And this is their sort of digs where they hang around together. 
That's quite a nice picture there. You can hear the hippo going... Pl -pl -pl. Hello, Laura in Alabama. You've just heard that hippopotamus calling there. You've just heard it going... Pl -pl -pl. And you want to know if it's able to breathe under all that mud. Laura, hippo don't breathe under the mud. Uh, they can't breathe under water in the same way that a whale and a dolphin is unable to breathe under the water. And so what they do is they must come to the surface. And that's exactly what that thing has done there. It's come to the surface and it's breathing. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? So they'll hide themselves and they can definitely put their, you know, they can hold their breath for a long time but you'll find that they cannot breathe underwater and they must come up. Apparently the longest that a hippo is able to stay under the water is about eight minutes. I've never seen a hippo stay under the water for anything like that length of time. It's normally a maximum of a minute at a time. I guess unless they're really threatened. Wonderful. Isn't that nice? Oh, okay. Hang on, everybody. The last station confirmed. How far east along Gari Main? 